It wouldn't be an EXO build without some blood, sweat, and tears. A little combination of everything. Hey, what's going on, you tubulous? EXO coming at you here with part two of the big car audio rebuild. Holy smokes! Sparks were a flying on this one, fellas. Thanks for joining the ride. In our last episode, all 12 18 inch sub baskets took a field trip to the Sandblasters. Unfortunately, the guy wasn't able to take any videos, but he did manage to send over a few progress pics. Let's just say that black coating stood no chance. Factory color, whoosh. See you later. So now we've got 12 blank frames, cast aluminum in the buff. Are you ready? Three, two, one kawa freaking bunga and there they are holy smokes beautiful as can be and naked at that the second love of my life i can't even tell you how many times i have been cursed out being called an idiot for ruining the subs just for having a little bit of fun blowing coils before this teardown process. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, for some reason, like 60% of people still think that a blown sub is just trashed forever. But come on now, that's crazy talk. You could rebuild a sub hundreds of times if you wanted to, but I digress. I can't win them all, right? So today we're gonna try out some new colors. I can save myself like 500 bucks if I paint all these suckers myself. So that's kind of a no brainer in my book. I uploaded a picture to a paint site just to get a rough idea of some visuals. Here's a quick layout of the easiest options. Just imagine the colors slightly brighter and glossier because these are household tones. Which ones do you like best? A, B, C, or D? While I brainstorm on what color to pick, let's press play on another full length episode. Alright, here we are coming at you. The morning of day two, extra foggy. Just got a nice little fresh shower and I'm feeling great. On the menu for today is finishing up the sides and top. Everything's been test fit, double checked, and she's wedged in snug. This is just the outer section though. There still needs to be inner ones. Much like the roof has parallel runs, the same applies for the sides in both directions. We're just gonna get the remnants of the roof finished. That way we can move on to the next step. This is really going a lot faster than I thought. Pretty phenomenal, I can't get over it. And there's the fifth one, all done. Get a better idea of what it's gonna look like from the front to the back. And that is a lot of bracing, that's a lot of steel. Very strong. The sides were a bit different to decide because there's no additional beams from the roof anymore. Just did some number crunching with these side pieces. We're gonna be doing some more steel down the long way. It's about 93 inches and it's gonna eat up a lot of steel really quickly. So we're debating on whether or not to do two on the inside or three. Basically, it was a game of give and take, finding a happy medium of gap size. On one hand, you wanna go completely over kill with extra small squares and on the other you still want to make it drivable. In the end it just took some eyeballing to realize how many I really wanted to cross. So that's with two going down. So we're working with a 12, roughly 12 inch centers. I really thought we should do one more bar. What do you think about making this come down and making a third one? Well I suppose be good. Yeah. So we added an extra run. You can see that it kind of helped. It looks a little more tightened up instead of having those bigger gaps. Just getting the exact distance between each piece. That way we can know exactly how much space. Definitely gonna add some strength adding that extra piece. We want all the strength we can get. Just got done finished sanding and here's what happens when you look away for two seconds in this garage. 
Yeah, they've already started doing those little pieces across the sides. Getting ready to do some tacking. It's coming along real fast now. First row tacked, here comes the second. And we're just working as we go. He welds a little bit, then we take these little spares and put them back down so they can be the next ones in line. Some of them get a little stuck because it's nice tight fits. So a crowbar helps get them fried out. How much smaller the blade is, we've gone through the whole thing. Time for a swaparoo. bunch of monotony and look at what we've got everything's all tacked down now we're gonna switch gears into the next station because this guy's been breaking his gosh dang knees i feel bad so we're gonna go up on his bench take this whole thing put it right up on top there then take our pieces as needed which we just put off to the side I was wearing the safety, right safety precaution, safety stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. I was wearing safety goggles, but I still managed to get something in my eye just now. I believe hot pieces of spark instantly cooled on my eyeball, so now they're like embedded. I'm trying to see it. I'm trying to look at my, there's my phone as a mirror. I can't really see anything. Uh, all right, well, fast forward like two hours. We wasted a bunch of time probably wasted a bunch of money because they weren't able to help me. Basically went all that way for him to point a finger at me and be like, oh yeah, by the way, your eyeballs hurt. There's something in there. Well, yeah, duh. It wouldn't be an EXO build without some blood, sweat, and tears. A little combination of everything. Man, I have the best girlfriend ever. She's hanging out inside the truck. We got Justin out there welding like a madman. I gotta say, I'm pretty lucky, P. Hi, Pete. And so is our cat. And so is our cat. Holy smokes, what a time lapse that was. A bunch of welding is taking place. I'm so very grateful. We're doing some cleanup right now, and Elise is probably about 10, 15 minutes away. So we're gonna call it good for today. But look behind me, I am just so proud to call that mine. It's on the table, it's literally welded. The tops just need to be ta taken care of tomorrow, but we're all sore. And my eye, you can see, look at it. She's gonna come here with the neodymium magnets and I'm gonna hit that bathroom the second she gets here and we're going down the highway if I can get this thing lodged from outside my eyeball. Wish me luck because this is gonna be some ordeal. And <laughs> some ordeal that ended up being way more complicated than on video. I had to go to two emergency rooms just to get turned away. Let's try this again, shall we? 
Oh my god, it's not looking good. Ended up spending all night just staying up because I couldn't close my eyes. I'm in rough shape. I've been up all freaking night just working on my RC car and putting in some new brushless motor. The next morning, I was fortunately able to find a surgeon nearby that used a drill and just bleh, friggin' pulled the whole thing right out and there was a little bit of residual rust. So technically I have an appointment tomorrow, but I'm not gonna go because she feels pretty well healed up for the, what, three times the charm now as far as EXO build logs go. I have got a terrible track record with these big eyes. But besides all that, it's all been going pretty smoothly. No complaints over here, especially since building a big sound system like this genuinely has lots of hiccups. You never know what's gonna hit you at your turn. I'm really grateful that this sound system's coming together the way it is. And now, talking about that, building a big sound system, we did a little trivia question. Well, kind of a trivia question last video with what is the most important part? Number one was how it sounds. Number two was how loud it is. Number three was how cool it looks. And number four was how it makes you feel. I'm gonna pick two comments for the bonus winners today because there was two uh, really good answers. And the number one top rated comment has got to be picked. You guys thumbs this up the most of anybody's. Edwin Smith, Network Administrator Minion. That's his whole screen name. How it makes you feel. There's nothing better than driving home after a long, stressful day and playing some bass to relieve some stress. It's my therapy. Simple and plain, that was his comment, and I feel for you 100%, man. That's actually my go-to for bass therapy, too. So it's kind of cool that other people are using it as their way to kind of just relieve stress. And even though those other three reasons are all very important in the end, I kind of want to break you down this little situation uh, that I find myself in very often. I live in the greater Fayetteville area. It's like a quarter of a million people crammed into a very small space. So when you're driving through town, you end up hearing and seeing a lot of unorthodox sound systems. But the thing is, the greatest thing is, is that when you see these people driving by, they are so happy, all smiles, jamming, freaking balling with their buddies, showing out all for fun. And you can tell that they are just so into it, really loving what they have. So it's almost like, would you ever want to go up to that person who's really having a good time being like, hey, what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing sucks. Heck no, you kind of want to feel for them a little bit and just build them up and say, yeah, man, keep, keep doing you. It's not my place or anybody else's to point fingers at people who may sound like a tin can, a Tweeterville, or a bunch of trunk freaking rattle. It's not our place to say that that's not right, that's horrible, blah, 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 because it really makes them happy. So that's why I pieced together that little trivia-like question, because a lot of the times, People are getting hated on for no good reason when realistically it does the job for them. So what do you guys have to think about that now that we kind of broke down the explanation? Do you kind of feel the same way? Let me know. So with all that in mind, I'd actually like to pick one more winner who picked an option that wasn't available but still applies, so we gotta give him some kudos. Mr. Osk, O-S-K, shout out to you, buddy. He answered the first person to say all of the above. Now, I can't say that's wrong, right? Because all of those aspects of a stereo system do apply and change the way that you think about it, so I gotta give a big thumbs up to that guy too and we're gonna send both these guys a little EXO goodie something just for interacting with the channel and choosing to comment a thing or two. So until the next video, this is EXO wrapping up part two of the big car audio build. Thank you guys for being here and remember to check out Showtime Electronics for all your car audio needs, especially this holiday, using your EXO coupon codes saves you, saves me. It's a win-win situation. So thanks for being here, guys. Liking, subscribing, and just interacting with the channel. It all means so much to me. So I will talk to you on the rebound. It's all signing out today.